There comes a time in every man or woman's life when that little extra something sneaks up on us. I'm not sure how it happens. I don't know whether it's something that happens over such a long period of time we don't notice it, or if it's something that suddenly happens overnight and we wake up different. What I do know is that at some point we all become mature. Ugh, gross. Okay, for all the ladies watching who just rolled their eyes, allow me to amend that statement. At some point in our lives, we all become a little bit more mature. There, that fixes it, right? Anywho, when that happens, we start worrying less about flashy fairings, horsepower to torque ratios, and the wooly potentials of our machines. We start to worry more about things like maintenance cost, regular care, and perhaps the most grown-up word of all, reliability. <laughs> Hello, sweet baby noobs, it is I, conqueror of content, master of motorcycles, slayer of Suzuki's? Mm, that doesn't sound right. Full disclosure, I couldn't think of a follow-up here. Daytonas, maybe? I have slayed some serious Daytonas in my day. How many times do I have to say Daytona before Triumph sends me a check? <laughs> Money, please. I don't know. What I do know is that they want nothing to do with me, which is a shame, because I love them so much. It's an abusive relationship, we all know this. Anywho, it is I, your ever-loving lusty boobs, here to keep you in the know about the latest and greatest in motorcycle trends. Dig up the sweet dirt for you that only insiders ever seem to know about. It's not really top secret stuff, though. You just have to have a boner for reading consumer report studies, which I do. I pour over this stuff to give to you. The people what you really want. Consumer Reports conducted a study with more than 12,000 riders to determine the probability of certain brands needing major or minor repairs within the first four years of life. That excludes bringing your bike to the repair shop for regular maintenance like an oil change or a clutch cable, etc. We're talking full-on mechanical failure or some other mishap that requires repairs. And if you're curious, I'll link the literature down below so you can read for yourself because Lord knows you want to pour over a bunch of words rather than listen to some strange bald man on the internet tell you about motorcycle reliability. The results were not pretty for some cult favorites, but there's gonna be some sweet validation for some of you comment trolls who were less than happy with me over that whole five reasons European bikes are better than Japanese bikes video, which if you haven't seen that, click the link in the pop out card here and watch that. Prepare for your victory dance and your plates of crow now because I am here to partake. Without further delay, find your happy place, close your weary little eyes and allow the honey smooth voice of your old Papa Yam to lull you into a sweet blissful trance of motorcycle content. Of the five bikes on our handy dandy list here, in ascending order, the number five spot goes to the beloved American sweetheart, Harley Davidson. Why I do declare, how dare that handsome, smooth, sacked, hairless pube put our beloved Harley Davidson on the very bottom of his list as the five most reliable motorcycle brands. My, my, Mr. Darcy, you come around here on your fine American machine, chock full of air-cooled technology and displacement measured in cubic inches, I can barely contain my lawn. For everyone getting ready to burn down signs on my front lawn, relax. One, I don't actually have a front lawn, so you'd really just be burning someone else's lawn. And two, I did not conduct these studies, so don't hate the messenger. I am merely the bringer of truths. So yes, Harley Davidson is the least reliable motorcycle on this list of most reliable motorcycles weird. In fact, 26% of Harley Davidsons produced every year are predicted to require some form of repair. Now to be clear, oil changes and regularly required maintenance are not considered repairs, which means that 26% of Harleys produced every year will experience mechanical malfunction or require bodywork. I know you Harley riders consider yourselves to be a class all of your own, a member of the 1% club, but really... You guys should try a little harder to reach that 1% club. It's not looking so hot for you right now. Now, a lot of you may be shaking your head right now and asking if I have a death wish. I would just like to state that I do not have a death wish. Yes, I see you flexing. No, I don't want to take this outside. I am a comfy boy, and I prefer staying inside. Bike number four on the list is surprisingly, or maybe it's not surprising. Either way, it's another American-made motorcycle. Ye old Victory Bikes come in with 17% of their manufactured motorcycles having a mechanical failure or requiring some type of repair. But, since this is a list about the most reliable motorcycle brands, let's not forget that while 17% may sound like a lot, when you look at the sheer volume of some of these companies are manufacturing, the reliability is much higher than it looks. It would be interesting to see an American manufacturer create a bike with Euro style at a Japanese price point, but American brands just don't seem to draw the same interest other brands do. A hybrid of style and affordable price point and the number one ranking on the most reliable list? That sounds pretty damn American. Sign me up. Maybe Indian can be the brand that brings it home for us here in the US of A and give us a bike we're proud of. That scout is looking pretty damn sharp. All right, that means there's only three spots left on our list and we haven't even heard a peep out of the big four yet. So who's gonna take home the crown for Yami's most reliable motorcycle? Let's find out. The second runner-up in the most reliable motorcycle finals is, drumroll please, 
Kawasaki. With a very honorable survey result of only 15% of their manufactured bikes requiring repairs within the first four years, Kawasaki cleanly clenched their position at the number three on the top five most reliable motorcycle brands. This is the first sighting of a big four brand on the list though, and there's only two spots left. So who did Consumer Reports vote off the island? There's only one way to find out. However, while we're on the topic of reliability, this is the perfect time to talk about today's sponsor. Otmo. If you guys have seen my previous videos, which you totally should have, you'll know that Otmo has been supporting the channel and blessing you sweet dudes with game-changing, cost-sharing car warranties. And I get it. We don't want to admit that we need cars as bikers, but they're comfy and useful, my dudes. Otmo is a month-to-month -month alternative to car warranties with no fees for canceling. And best of all, if you don't file a claim, you have the possibility of getting your money back. Who else can offer that for you? It's super easy to sign up and get started with virtually no paperwork and a simple video and copy of your insurance. Right now, fans of the Yam are eligible to get a $25 gift card to Amazon simply by signing up on their website. So click the link in the description below, check out Otmo, and make sure your cage is as reliable as some of these bikes on this list. Now, let's get back into this. The first runner-up in the Yami Noob Most Reliable Motorcycle Finals is... Wait! to tie. We've got the two first runner-ups, ladies and gentlemen, though this is unprecedented. This competition has never seen a tie in the final round. Our first runners-up are Suzuki and Honda at a very reliable and respectable 12%. Leave it to the big four to somehow find a way to take all the prizes in the most efficient and cost-effective way possible. Suzaki and Handa are definitely power players in the motorcycle industry, so it's not altogether surprising that the two of them would make it on this list. It is surprising that they tied for the same spot, though. Both brands are known for making excellent beginner bikes along with a full line of heavy hitters, so if you're a beginner rider and you're still shopping around looking for a bike, check out the video I did on overrated beginner bikes and what you should get instead. It's a pretty good starting place if you don't know anything about motorcycles, but you're interested in getting one. And now, the grand prize winner, the reigning champion, the one, the only, who else could it be? It's those boys, the patrician of the big four. The grand prize winner that will take the Yami Noob crown as the most reliable motorcycle brand is Yamaha. With an impressive stat of only 11% of the total produced motorcycles requiring repair in the first four years of life. 11%! That's a very small number when compared to how many motorcycles Yamaha manufacture every year. But it's a simple question of economies of scale when it comes to the big four. With higher production volumes come higher profits, which is reinvested into quality control, and it's kind of a self-perpetuating cycle. Say what you will about Japanese bikes, but they're consistent as hell. For perspective, almost half of all BMW and Ducati models spend some time in the repair shop before their fourth birthdays. Half. In fact, Consumer Reports Deputy Editor Jeff Bartlett puts BMW on the list as having a four times greater chance of mechanical failure within the first four years of ownership. That can really add up when you think about the initial cost of the bike along with the increased shop prices for servicing a BMW. Weird that you pay more out the door and later down the road, but hey, you do get a pretty badge though, huh? Overall, the brands on this list have beat out some pretty fierce competition from motorcycle manufacturers all over the world, so even last place is still a winner, at least for this video. Unless you're a Euro snob, then you really did come in last place. Thanks for playing the Yami Noob Name of the 5 Most Reliable Motorcycles game. Don't forget to pop in next week for more great content, updates on our motorcycle giveaway, and so fresh fun facts waiting just for you. We're churning out 3 videos per week because by god we're giving it to you straight just the way you like it. You know the drill, stay up to date with all the riveting and hilarious content we produce here at Yami Noob, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, drop a like on this video, there will be riots over who gets to claim the title for first comment, but if that's not you, be sure to claim the console prize and turn on video notifications by clicking the bell next to the description box. If you want to be the first commenter like, you've got to know when the videos go up, and the easiest way to do that is to ring the bell. Thanks again for Otmo for supporting the channel, go check them out and tell them your yam sent you, because they allow us to keep making super high quality content like this and pumping it out with the efficiency and fury of a major Japanese manufacturer. Is Yami Noob the big four of YouTube? Quality? Consistency? Hmm, that math is starting to add up, boys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Fact. That monocled, top-hatted fellow on the board game Monopoly is not named the Monopoly Man or Rich Uncle Pennybags, as you probably thought. In fact, his birth certificate reads Milburn Pennybags. Goodbye.